Hey guys, Blake here with another video and today I want to talk about the most aggressive fish that I own, the Parachromus managuensis, also known as the Jaguar cichlid. So let's jump straight into the video. So for those of you that know my fish room and my fish keeping hobby, you'll know that I'm more geared towards nano fish, community fish and peaceful type fish. And this little fella down here is certainly none of those. But the striking markings, beautiful coloration and uh, personality of these guys have made it so that he's one of my absolute favourites in here, although he does contrast a lot of the room. The Paracromus managuensis come from Costa Rica and they are certainly not a fish for the faint of heart. They have super sharp teeth which you can see are quite visible uh, out the bottom of his little mouth there. They're super aggressive, they're going to be a heavy hitter with the food and you're going to probably struggle to keep any tank mates with these guys. I just think that they're one of the most beautiful fish uh, that are available. If you are in Australia uh, like I am, it's important to note that they have been recently banned in areas of Queensland and are likely to be banned in areas of New South Wales soon. So check up on your local uh, laws as to whether you're allowed to keep these guys. But for many parts of the world, these are a super popular aquarium fish. And you can see why many people would find it hard to walk past them in a fish store. So some common names you might find them labelled under. We did discuss Jaguar cichlids, but you might also find that they're called Aztec cichlids. In the wild, they can get massive up to 60 centimetres, but typically in aquarium settings, we see them get up to about 40 centimetres for a big male. As juveniles, you might find that they have banding along the sides, but these will become spots as they mature and become older. You can see why they're called the Jaguar cichlid with their markings, but also you'll find if you look up close that a lot of them will also have a light purple or blue sheen, and some of them can even have green tones as well. If you take good care of them, they can be a very long-lived companion. You can actually find that they'll live up to 15 years in captivity, so they'll be with you for a long time, so treat them well, give them plenty of nice clean water, a big old tank so they can stretch their fins. You'll find that they'll be a really great aquarium fish. Because they can get up to that sort of 40 centimetre mark if you've got a male, I would recommend keeping them in a large tank, 75 gallons minimum, 100 gallons preferred. Make sure you, that you have that width so that they can actually turn around because there's nothing sadder than a big fish that can't uh, turn around properly in an aquarium. If you want to see best coloration out of these fish, it is best to keep them on a dark substrate uh, obviously I'm not doing so here, but that's because uh, you also have to be mindful of impaction. So these guys do like to sort of root and dig around in the substrate. So if you do put in larger pieces of gravel, it does present a risk that they'll actually choke on it, struggle to pass it through, and uh, you can actually lose your fish that way. So I prefer to just keep them on this sort of pool filter sand that I've got in here. Because they will dig around and mess around and rearrange the tank, uh, you probably won't be able to have much luck keeping it in a planted aquarium. But you can certainly put floating plants, or like me, just put some pothos out the top, and that will help with your nitrate reduction because they are a big protein feeder, so you do have to also be mindful of the waste production. pH-wise, they'd like fairly neutral. Anything around seven, plus or minus five, will do just fine to keep a jag cichlid happy. In terms of temperature, you want to keep them between 24 to 28 degrees Celsius, or 74 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Interestingly enough, you'll probably find that if you keep it on the higher end of that temperature, they'll be a lot more aggressive. So if you do want to try out tank mates for these guys, then try it with the cooler temperature, slow down that metabolism, that urge for sort of feeding and defending the territory, and you might find that the aggression will come down as well. In terms of feeding, they are a large carnivorous cichlid, but I've found that they readily take to pellets and uh, prepared foods as well. They're not too fussy and they'll take any food they can get, to be honest. If you do want to keep tank mates with your jag, or you want to try your hand at breeding them, I certainly recommend plenty of territories and hides so that any aggression, they can be line of sight blocks um, so that they won't continue to harass the other fish. In that case, I find the cheapest and best option to be terracotta pots like this one, where um, you can just scatter them all around the tank and then there'll be plenty of areas to escape to if a scuffle does break out. On the topic of breeding, if you do want to try to sex these guys out, females will be a lot smaller and they will possess more of a line along the body, whereas males will be a lot larger and have more pronounced spots. If you know for sure that they're the same age, a huge indicator is going to be the size. Females will be a lot smaller than males. Although with these big uh, American cichlids, it is a good idea to proceed with caution when selecting tank mates. 
I have had this fish in with some tank mates before and there's some tips that I'd like to give as well. So first of all, uh, if you do want to keep tank mates long term with jags, I recommend getting them all super young, basically all around the same size so long as they're going to grow at the same rate. I knew that I wanted to keep this fish here in with some others, so I got a Jack Dempsey, a flower horn, some convex cichlids and this Jaguar cichlid, all as babies, put them together and it went fantastic um, up to a certain point. Recently I sold the flower horn, which totally threw the hierarchy out of balance and everything started fighting again. So that's another great tip is if you want to keep them with tank mates, keep them as juveniles long term and then do not take any fish out of the equation or the whole <laughs> exercise will just be a waste of time. With that in mind, I would suggest also keeping them with multiple tank mates so that the aggression can be dispersed amongst other fish. I never recommend just putting one single other fish in there. Even if you're gonna try and put a single female in to breed it, I would recommend separating for a period of time beforehand, allowing them to be conditioned for breeding and then only releasing the female in with the male when it's time to, uh, to spawn. So some fish that might or might not work for tank mates are things like Oscars, Jack Dempsey's, Convict Cichlids, Texas cichlids, green terrors, red terrors, but with any of those things they're all fairly aggressive fish so just keep a close eye on things because it could always take a turn for the worse any day. I hate to see things like nipped fins, missing scales and that, so I'm just going to keep this guy by himself, allow him to grow up nice, big and healthy, and I just admire him for the fish that he is. So there you go guys, uh, this Jaguar cichlid is one of my absolute favourites here in the fish room. Maybe not a fish for the faint of heart, but a heart of gold personality anyway. He might not play well with others, but he reminds me a lot of myself before my morning coffee. Overall, if you want a fish that's going to come up and greet you, always be happy to be fed and is going to show some really beautiful, unique patterning and coloration. I think Jaguar cichlids are a great choice, as so long as you have the appropriate tank for them and you're willing to um, move things in and out if required, if uh, aggression rears its head. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.